Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and President Joe Biden just made an insane decision that could cost him the 2024 election and his presidency. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. We are living in a time of unprecedented anti-Semitism attacks on Jewish people, threats against Jewish people, Jewish kids on college campuses, uh, synagogues, uh, Jewish clergy members, just regular Jewish people being surrounded. I saw a video where a kid was surrounded by pro-Hamas protesters. He was just walking, just a Jewish kid walking, surrounded and intimidated. We've seen Jewish kids locked in, in a room in a college as protesters bang on the doors outside. So what's Joe Biden's solution to that? Let's take a look. Well, it, you know, uh, Lawrence is at the world famous Second Avenue Deli because it was a target of anti-Semitism uh, recently with the swastika. And he just talked to somebody who had seen uh, somebody else put swastikas up across the street from him. Yesterday, you know, in the face of that, in the in the face of uh, in the wake of the FBI director coming out and talking about how we are seeing uh, anti-Semitism at an historically high level. At same day that that 21-year-old engineering student up at Cornell was charged with making threats to slit people's throats, uh, Jewish people, and rape them, the vice president of the United States announced a big plan. Is it about anti-Semitism? No, it's about Muslims and protecting them. Watch this. For years, Muslims in America and those perceived to be Muslim have endured a disproportionate number of hate-fueled attacks. As a result of the Hamas terrorist attack in Israel and the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, we have seen an uptick in anti-Palestinian, anti-Arab, anti-Semitic, and Islamophobic incidents across America. This strategy will be a comprehensive and detailed plan to protect Muslims and those perceived to be Muslim from hate, bigotry, and violence. And that is tone deaf, a lot of people say, because it's like, look at all the anti-Semitism, and now they're talking about that. Perhaps part of it is the fact that a new poll came out from the Arab American Institute that shows that uh, Joe Biden's support with Arab Americans is at 17 percent. Forty percent said that they would vote for Donald Trump. And here's the thing. Concerned Democrats from the state of Michigan are calling the White House saying if the policy is going to be uh, we're 100 percent behind Israel, you're going to lose support. If that is true and if the president is putting in the White House, putting reelection above what is in the United States best interest, that is wrong. You know, I don't even think tone deaf describes that well enough. You create a council to combat Islamophobia. Islamophobia? Now, nobody supports Islamophobia that I know of. You shouldn't hate against any one group. But that doesn't seem to be the pertinent issue right now. The pertinent issue is that American Jews are living in terror. They are living in terror in this country in 2023. And it's a shame on all of us, a black eye on all of us, that this is happening. Where's the counsel on that, Joe Biden? And why can it cost him the presidency? Well, the Jewish Americans tend to vote very strongly for Democrats. You think you're going to get them to the polls with this? You think this is going to help you? No, what you did was you caved into your radical base, the fringe of your party, the Rashida Tlaibs and the Omars and the Ocasio-Cortezes. That's who you caved into. You caved into these dimwits on college campuses who don't know anything about this conflict except what they're told on television and then they go march and say their slogans. This is a shame not only on this country but on you directly, Mr. President, and you should be ashamed. Folks, I want your comments on this story, so please let me know what you think. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.